What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video. And today's video is actually going to be a review of the gameplay trailer for EA UFC that came out a couple of days ago. And unfortunately, uh, as I just mentioned, yeah, this video actually did come out a couple days ago. I actually attempted to upload a video yesterday to my channel, which a couple of you might have seen. But it was copyright struck almost instantaneously when it went up. And uh, it actually did contain the video from the UFC gameplay trailer. But it wasn't just the video by itself. Um, I actually had some commentary over the top of it. I had a couple stop points in it, things like that. So it wasn't just the video all the way through. Like I know, obviously, you can't upload. It was actually my own commentary over the top, my opinions, everything like that. But YouTube decided, I guess, that it was copyrighted to EA Sports. So my hands are kind of tied on this. I mean, I see other people just flat out uploading the trailer without even commentary over the top on it. I mean, I could literally link to probably five or ten different channels that have this exact video uploaded that don't even do any sort of review on it or anything. They're just flat out copying the video and scumming for views. But anyway, I'm not going to try and worry too much about that. If you guys are interested in actually watching this video, which I hope that you are, I'm actually going to link to the video right here. And I want you guys to watch the video while I do the commentary. You're actually going to see some screenshots on my screen here, uh, which you can follow along with as well. But the major thing, obviously, is the gameplay itself that we're going to be talking about today. So I don't want anything to get in the way of that. But I do want to give my opinions on it because I do have some criticisms and I guess some suggestions for the game as it goes forward hopefully before release date so thank you guys for tuning in I hope you like today's video sorry it sounds like a little bit weird here because I'm gonna have the intro again but it is what it is so with that being said go ahead and flip on over click on the link that I have here and let's watch the video and my commentary together thanks guys what's up YouTube my name is Clickwood and today we are going to be reviewing the UFC trailer that came out yesterday on the EA Sports YouTube page. And man, I am impressed. The presentation for this game looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that picture of Jose Aldo there on the right. It almost looks like a photograph. I actually thought it was for a second. I mean, the detail on these player models is absolutely incredible. You can tell that this is truly a next-gen game. I mean, I love how you get the full atmosphere of, like, the UFC atmosphere. You get the spotlights panning around the crowd. Fans are actually moving in the background. You even have some dipshits standing up in the front row blocking everyone else's view. <laughs> I mean, the ring girls walk around the perimeter of the cage. Your actual team stands behind you and holds up your banner while they announce your name. I mean, it even looks like they have a little UFC media area, which for someone like me who's actually done media coverage for the UFC, that's kind of a cool little touch. I like it. But check out the things like the padding across the top of the cage as they announce these guys' names. Because I was really impressed at the fact that it's not just a simple texture on like a cylinder shape. No one would have complained if it was, but there's so much detail that even in that element, you can tell that they put a ton of work into this. I mean, it's slightly warped, and you'll see it better at other angles than what you're looking at right now, but it's like slightly warped because of where the actual Velcro comes together in real life. So I thought that that was just amazing. I mean, this is really as close to real life as it gets. I mean, you can actually see what I was talking about right here next to the Harley Davidson. Look how it's kind of like slightly warped. Isn't that incredible? I know it's a dumb thing, but I noticed it because it's something that I've seen on TV before, and it's like just down to the very detail. So I was very, very impressed with just the presentation of this whole thing. And now we're going to actually get into the gameplay in a few seconds here after they do the face off in the center of the cage. And unfortunately, this is kind of where I think that some of the pros and cons are. Um, because, of course, this is actually just the first gameplay video that they've put out. So, I mean, of course, there might be improvements between now and when the actual game comes out. And, of course, this is just the first round of a five-round fight. So, I imagine that things are going to slow down a little bit over the course of a long fight. 
but I just want you guys to watch how many strikes are thrown in this round and how many are being landed because it's insane. Now, I understand that this is a video game. I, I really do. I understand that. But I don't want it to be like a freaking Mortal Kombat game. I mean, I don't want it to be too slow paced that it's boring. I get that. But this is just a little bit much for me. I mean, even for two of the fastest paced fighters in the UFC, like Anthony Pettis and Jose Aldo, this is just too fast. And it's especially too fast when you consider the fact that these guys are actually landing precisely with a lot of these shots, like right on the jaw. I mean, guys are naturally going to slow down their own striking when they get hit with a solid shot, but it doesn't appear to be that way in this game, at least not in the demo. Now, one thing we do have to consider for speed, and it's something that I didn't really notice at first, and that is that the game is actually sped up a little bit. Look down at the clock in the bottom left because you're going to see that time is clicking off way faster than it does in real life. So we actually get a full five minute round in about three minutes. Five minute rounds aren't really that long. And so I, I, although I understand why they did it, it just kind of frustrates me. So I don't know. I, I don't really know where I stand on that at this point. Um, my personal opinion, I think, is that I would like it to be more just normal paced. I, I don't like how fast this game is so far. But unfortunately, I think that that's the game that speed that we're going to get. And, uh, you know, if we look past the speed of the game, another thing that I noticed that bothered me a little bit was the takedown animations that Jose Aldo gets. Now, he already had one earlier where he actually, like, lifted up Anthony Pettis and slammed him down into side control. And I think that the animation system just looks like it's not very fluid. I mean, in a real MMA fight, if an opponent lifts you up off the ground, you have a lot of things that you can do. Most of them still end up with your back on the ground, but... You know, once Anthony Pettis gets lifted up off the ground, he could hook Aldo's head for a guillotine. Um, he could position his body and try and land back on his feet. He could position his body so that at least he lands into, like, guard uh, instead of being in side control. But instead, with animations like this, and they were all over the previous UFC games, by the way, and also the, the previous EA MMA game, you just don't have the opportunity to move fluidly, and I just feel like that really takes away from the realism, and that's one of the things that is my strongest criticism about MMA video games. And I know, guys, it sounds like I'm being a negative Nancy, but honestly, I really do see a lot of potential in this game. I'm hoping that they're going to have a demo so that I can give you guys a better reaction to it, but, you know, at first glance, I'm going to be a skeptic of this game. The UFC is on the cusp of becoming very mainstream, and a quality video game would really help them do that. So I'm really hoping that this game turns out to be good, and uh, I hope that they make some minor improvements to the stamina bar, because I think that that would do a lot to make this thing a little bit more realistic and, and just a little bit more fun. But, you know, like I said, at first glance, I, I, I'm kind of impressed. So what do you guys think? Does the gameplay impress you? Was there anything that you noticed that I didn't? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.